Hello friends, in today's documentary, we will talk about, Illuminati are the descendants of reptilian aliens from the constellation Draco. Illuminati is the name that refers to secret groups, both historical and modern, real or fictional. Historically, the term Illuminati refers to the Bavarian group called the Bavarian Illuminati, founded on May 1, 1776. Today the term Illuminati is often used to refer to an evil group that holds world power. In this conspiratorial context, the term Illuminati is used as a reference for the New World Order. There are people who believe that the Illuminati are behind the events that will lead to the establishment of a world power. The Illuminati are one of the greatest landmarks of conspiracy theory. It is an enigmatic group that conspiracy theorists believe is behind everything that happens in the capitalist, communist, Zionist, Islamic or Catholic world, in the British royal family, in the US presidency, in the EU or UN, of Freemasonry, of the Knights Templar, even in the world of aliens, all this having to do with the enlightened, the secret rulers of the world. Who were enlightened and why are they credited with such extraordinary powers? Founding and organizing the order. The Illuminati were a group founded in Bavaria, Germany. In the late 18th century by a former Jesuit named Adam Weishaupt, a professor of canon law at Ingolstadt University. Strongly mastered by the ideas of the Enlightenment. He decided to form a group of fellow Republicans adept at free thought, to be clandestine, because at that time it was dangerous to have such ideas. Together with Baron Adolf von Nick he formed his movement on May 1, 1776, calling it Perfectibilis. Later, his followers were called the Illuminati. They were sometimes called the Order of the Illuminati, the Order of the Illuminati or the Bavarian Illuminati. Many attracted to this movement were also the Freemasons, which justifies the suspected connections between the two movements. Members were to take the oath of allegiance to their superiors. The Illuminati have managed to establish branches in most European countries since the first years of the Order's existence. With many progressive and influential intellectuals and politicians being among their members, among them were celebrities such as Goethe, the Dukes of Gotha and Weimar. The total number of members had reached 2,000. The radical ideas of the order recently attracted the displeasure of the Catholic Church, which in 1784 persuaded the Bavarian government to pass a law banning secret societies such as the Illuminati and Freemasons. The order suffered from internal schisms and finally fell apart in 1790. The only world government, immediately after the order fell apart, conspiracy theories emerged. In 1797, a French clergyman, Augustin Baruel, published the book Memoirs, illustrating the history of Jacobism in which he launched a conspiracy theory involving Freemasons, Enlightenment, Rosicrucians and Jacobins. The following year, John Robinson published a book in the presence of a conspiracy, such as that the Illuminati planned to replace all religions with humanism and replace states with a single world government. The theory had gained credibility after the similarity established between Freemasonry and the Illuminati, combined with the sinister manipulation of society. Thomas Jefferson, President of the United States, said he could understand why the Illuminati had been forced to adopt secrecy as a precaution when disseminating information and the principles of pure morality. It has been rumored that the US President is also an Illuminati. Rumors began circulating about the Illuminati's involvement in U.S. business. The all-seeing pyramid on the Great Seal of the United States has been cited as a secret symbol made by high-ranking members of the order. Illuminati, whose intention is to show that the all-seeing eye of their order is watching the Americans. All this is shown on American banknotes. It has also been suggested that the secret society Skull and Bones was founded as an American branch of the Illuminati order. In modern times, conspiracy theories about the Illuminati have become increasingly bizarre, but quite fanciful. Alien Reptiles Perhaps the most extraordinary of all the Illuminati theories is the one advanced by a former British football player and sports commentator, David Icker. According to Icker, the Illuminati are indeed the secret rulers of the world, 
but the establishment of their order dates back to before its founding in Bavaria in 1780. In fact, says Icker, the Illuminati are the reptilian aliens who have ruled the world for thousands of years, and that they intervene from the fourth dimension, or that they are hidden under the aspect of today's leaders. According to Ica, the Illuminati came from another dimension, or from another galaxy, and helped us in technological development. Ica's theory did not attract many followers. Illuminate today. Writers such as Mark Dice, David Ica, Brian Burke and others claim that the Illuminati survived and still exist today. The conspirators claimed that many important people were members of the Illuminati group, including Winston Churchill, the Bush family, Barack Obama, the Rothschild family, David Rockefeller and Zbigniew Brzezinski. Which are the five families much stronger than the Masons or the Enlightened, who could be at the helm of the world? Over time, there have been countless discussions about secret groups, such as Masons or Enlightenment, but there are some families who have amazing control over factors that influence all of humanity. From pharmaceuticals, central banks and military groups, Top Buzz presents a list of families who have amazing power over the world. Rothschild. One of the best known influential families is the Rothschilds who dominate central banks and influence global government. Mayor Amschel Rothschild was a collector of rare coins and antiques in Frankfurt, Germany. In 1760 he received a rich patronage that allowed him to enter the banking field in 1790. Although the family history is shrouded in mystery, there are rumors that they controlled to some extent the US Federal Reserve's Rockefeller. The son of a crook. John Davidson Rockefeller began building his empire in the United States after buying several parts of Cleveland's largest refinery in 1885. It was the foundation of Standard Oil in Ohio. From 1870, Rockefeller bought the refineries of his rivals and began to have a monopoly over the industry. It has taken over about 90% of America's refineries and pipelines. The Satanic Babylonian Brotherhood of the Serpent, the revealed history of the so-called Enlightenment and the Anunnaki Reptiles. Thousands of years ago, at the beginning of prehistory, there was an extreme civilization advanced in the Pacific Ocean, known as Lemuria or Mu. Together with other peoples, the Lemurians founded another great culture on a land in the Atlantic Ocean, namely Atlantis. The knowledge that was the basis of these advanced societies, the knowledge with the help to which the astonishing and inexplicable ancient structures such as the sea were built pyramid, came from civilizations that did not belong to this planet. Some of these beings were tall, with blonde hair and blue eyes, others had a reptilian shape. These aliens, but also others, came to Earth from constellations such as Orion, Draco, Andromeda. Lyra or Pleiades, Sirius, Vega, Zeta Reticuli, Arcturus, Aldebaran. Aborigines Australians, African tribes. South American Indians or the ancient Babylonians are just that some of the different peoples who have, or on a case-by-case -case basis, had ancestral ties to these places. The reptiles are tall, with snake eyes and skin, being closely related to the classic, small grey, with big black eyes, very similar to the well-known movie character E.T. Often, these alien groups fought for supremacy in the legends, Wars of the Gods. These very technologically advanced beings were identified with the gods of the human races in terms of the seemingly miraculous deeds they have made with the help of technology and their flying machines. If you find it impossible to conceive of the existence of reptilian humanoids or intelligent forms of life whose origin is neither on this planet nor at least in our dimension. He remembers the words of the astrobiologist Carl Sagan, it exists more combinations of DNA, physical forms, than the atoms in the universe. Starting from this statement, it is absurd to doubt the existence of a whole variety of reptilian alien species that came to Earth. These gods joined with women on our planet, a fact mentioned in countless ancient accounts. Thus giving birth of the hybrid race, Nephilim, described in the Old Testament, the book of Genesis. Most important combination between species was that of reptiles and northern hairy peoples blonde and blue eyes, both of extraterrestrial origin. 
because an alliance had formed between factions of these races. Their union resulted in the Aryan or noble race, the superior race of the Nazis. This is the fusion between the Nordic and the reptilian DNA, the genetic code that decides physical characteristics, and, as the old records confirm, these offspring, royal, reptilian northern hybrids have been placed in leading positions for thousands of years before the known history. These were the kings and queens who claimed the divine right to rule over them of their descendants, that of the gods. The representatives of these ancient royal lines from Egypt, Sumer and the Indus Valley, had white skin and blue eyes, being known as the dragon or snake kings by those who knew their hybrid nature. Lemuria was destroyed by a terrible cataclysm 11,500 to 12,000 years ago. Atlantis also had a similar tragic end a few thousand years later. All the myths and legends that are found in the peoples of the world about the Great The Floods are correlated with the destruction of these two continents. Atlantis survivors have traveled to the Near and Middle East around 4.00 WSO BC, where they formed the Sumerian Empire, in what is now Iraq, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Sumer, according to official history, was the cradle of human civilization, but in fact he did not represent it only a new beginning after the cataclysm that destroyed Atlantis. Seeding of extraterrestrial human descendants continued, as did the policy of placing the most pure of the hybrids, the northern reptiles, in leading and administrative positions on peoples of Sumer. Egypt, Babylon and the Indus Valley, as the Sumerian Empire it was expanding more and more. The same thing has happened in other parts of the world as well the two Americas and China. But the Middle East was the most important, at least then, for these alien factions, dominated by reptiles or the snake race. Over thousands of years these peoples have spread beyond the Middle East and Middle in Europe, and the royal descendants from Sumer, Egypt, etc. They became families aristocrats of Great Britain, Ireland and the mainland countries, especially France and Germany. Wherever they went, these royal lines were obsessively intertwined through marriages arranged and secret breeding programs. The same thing is happening today in royal families as they seek to perpetuate a certain genetic code, which can be quickly diluted by reproduction outside their hybrid circle. In the ancient world, one of the centers of networks of secret societies, such as be that of the so-called Enlightenment, by which these descendants manipulate mankind, was Babylon, located in the land of Sumer. This network of so-called Enlightenment then moved the center of Rome, during which time the Roman Empire was created, then the Roman Church, where it was achieved the institutionalization of Christianity. After the fall of the Roman Empire, this hybrid breed was based in the capital of the Netherlands, Amsterdam. When the Dutch began to build their empire through the Dutch East India Company and then settled in Africa South. In 1688, such a hybrid descendant, Wilhelm of Arania, invaded England from Holland and took the British throne, becoming in 1689 King William III of England. William reigned with Queen Mary, but also alone after her death in 1694. Beginning with that period, the so-called Enlightenment moved the center of their operations. In London, what followed, of course, was the Great British Empire. Its expansion, but also the increasing influence of European countries in the rest of the world have exported these hybrid offspring to every continent, including North America, of whose importance we all know today. At the time of decline and collapse European empires, especially in the 20th century, it seemed that these lands, the Americas, Africa and Australia, had gained independence. In fact, the descendants of Nephilim and the Illuminati only changed open control with another insidious and much more efficient. At the apparent retreat of the empires, they left in these countries including the United States, their hybrid descendants and the network of secret societies through which still operates today. Since then, they have continued to manipulate these former colonies as part of their long-term plan to completely centralize control of the planet through a world government, central bank, single currency, military, and through the implementation of chips connected to a global computer, a high percentage of the population. This is the government structure that laughs in our face. 
Descendants who control the world and our lives today are the same descendants who ruled in Lemuria, Atlantis, Sumer, Egypt, Babylon, the Roman Empire and the British Empires and European. They are the presidents of the United States, the prime ministers, the families of businessmen and top bankers, media trust owners and those who control the armies. I have were led by the same tribe of alien or terrestrial hybrids, the Nephilim, for thousands of years. Years, and today we live even during the full development of their plans. The time has come when we humans either end this hidden dictatorship or face each other in soon with a global Bolshevik state. The so-called enlightened and the new world order. We were born into a world controlled by unseen forces that invaded and that manipulates humanity for thousands of years. No, this is not a Hollywood scenario, it is exactly what we live in today. If we look around, we might think that what we see is real. But, in fact, we live in illusion, an illusion designed to keep us in a mental, emotional and spiritual. The United States has so far been led by 40 presidents, of whom 33 have been genetically related to only two people, King Alfred the Great of England and Charlemagne. The famous King of France who lived in the 9th century. Throughout this historical period, the political agenda of these families continued to be implemented in the world. Reaching today in a situation where centralized global control has become possible. If you want to know what our lives will look like if we don't wake up quickly, look at Germany Nazi. That is the world that awaits us all if the plan I call the Brotherhood's agenda will succeed until 2012. Especially 2012 seems crucial, for reasons on which I will explain further. People have no idea of the abyss that awaits them or about the nature of the world in which their children will live. Most of them don't even want to find out more details, because they don't care. He prefers to ignore the obvious reality, denying it the truth that tries to open their eyes. If you like the documentary, don't forget to leave a comment and a subscribe. Next time.